All new at 11 o'clock, the hunt is growing right here in Florida for the invasive Burmese python. The state is announcing it's going to expand the program with more money and more hunters. WPTV News Channel 5's Andrew Lawholm talked to one of those hunters about the impact it could have on our environment. Andrew? Yeah, when you look at the way that the states try to tackle this problem, it's really been an evolution. At first, it was those sporadic trophy hunts, and now they have hunters in the Everglades year-round. The hunt recently has been good for trapper Mike Kimmel. Coming off of breeding season, hatchlings are leaving the nest and the moms are hungry. I'm catching them left and right. Uh, just last week, I caught like 15, I think, of three or four days of hunting. Earlier this year, Kimmel caught the landmark 2500th python since the program started in 2017. In the two plus years, he's seen the native animal population rebound. I'm catching less pythons than I was last year. I'm catching smaller pythons than I was last year and I really feel we are controlling the spread. The state wants even more. That's great. They're doubling the hunters to 50 and increasing the budget, which overall Kimmel supports. They're paid minimum wage hourly and a bounty per snake. I feel we should boost the hourly pay a little bit to, to make those 25 we already have full time before we expand our numbers. Kimmel has been able to monetize his craft outside of the hunt, like selling skins. All right. On Instagram, he's got more than 4,300 followers and paid sponsorships. It's been changing a lot of minds of people who they automatically think killing an animal is bad and they don't realize that there's no other choice. We have to kill this invasive species to save our native wildlife and our native ecosystem that we've worked so hard on. And the state is also working with the federal government to expand the lands for hunters to hunt. We're live, Andrew Lawfum, WPTV News Channel 5.